Hi, so it's been a while actually since I've done a video on this thing, which is this thing here. It's the um, resin printer we got sent by Elego. It's the Mars 2P. And we've done a fair bit of stuff on it as we were working with it, but actually I haven't done a video on it for absolutely ages. Because when you don't do that, people think you're not doing anything with it. But of course we're doing stuff with it. But the challenge that I'm actually uh, trying to work through is to make it conductive so that the resin would be conductive and for that I've been adding like half and one percent of graphene to it and the bad news is it doesn't make it conductive. So I've been adding more and more gradually over the whole thing and unfortunately it's when it's conductive of course it's full of graphene and it's black so it won't actually set, the, the light doesn't set it so there's quite a conflict going on in here so so far Although I hate to report it, my efforts at changing these resins into conductive resins that we can 3D print with have failed abysmally, which is really quite upsetting for me because I'm a stubborn SOB and I haven't been able to do that yet. Note, yet, because I still carry on with it, but I equally realise that I haven't actually said a lot about it, even though I've been working steadily at it. Now, one thing I have done, obviously, is I started with this ABS-like photopolymer resin that Elegoo provide. Well, sell. Loads of people sell this stuff, actually. You don't need to buy the Elegoo. But this was an abysmal failure, and I was wondering if it was the resin. So I've got a couple of other resins. We've got the standard polymer resin here. We've got a plant-based polymer resin here, actually, and then a water-washable photopolymer resin, because these things have to be washed in IPA, which is, um, you know, it, it's an alcohol. It's a bit stinky and... Um, a bit of a pain, not that bad to be honest, but I did think I would give the water washable a go and of course the plant based a go. Now one of the big arguments against this stuff is the smell and sure it, it is a little bit stinky if you've got a pillowcase over your head and you happen to be quite near it then you'll, it doesn't smell very nice and so that's a, a big um, a big negative actually but one of the curious things is this stuff which is the plant based translucent resin it actually hasn't, uh, yeah. No, it, it smells nothing really, a bit planty, <laughs> which is kind of cool I suppose, but that's a very comfortable smell. I mean, it's obviously not doing anything to me and I can, you know, sniff away at it, although I wouldn't put it into a crisp packet and sniff it all day long. It's still not particularly stinky, which is kind of cool. And the same is true actually for the water washable. Smells a bit like um, PVA, actually, a bit like Elmer's glue. Now, I wouldn't do that with these two, because these two, <laughs> they'll make you fall down. They're not that nice. But the um, smell on these is really reduced. And I have tried these, and I, it's failed again. These haven't actually worked by adding graphene to them, which has been another disappointment. But this one is translucent. Uh, translucent to me means you can see through it. And of course, seeing through something is kind of cool. So I thought what I'd do actually is give it a go printing a Fresnel lens with this. Now I got the Fresnel lens as an STL file from um, Thingiverse. So it's not one that I've created. I've just grabbed it and I've done the slice on it through Chiterbox. And we're going to try and print a Fresnel lens using a plant-based translucent resin and see what we get. Anyway, let's get on with it. Oh, should mention... I did the PTFD trick again, so I gave it a good wash because, of course, I've been using these polymers. So I gave it a good wash. I've done the PTFE trick again. We're pouring some of this in, buttering the foot plate, and I have my STL file ready to go here. So let's do that. Okay, that's surprisingly cool. Okay, let's get it off, give it a wash in the IPA and a turn in the UV and we'll see if it functions in an actual lens. <laughs> okay, so I don't know how well that is translating, but it is focusing the light into a dot in the center of the lens. The focal length looks about three to four centimeters, so that is actually very cool. Uh, a printed translucent resin, sorry, if you use a translucent resin, you can in fact print lenses out of it, and I thought that was awesome. 
So the work with this printer will continue. We'll carry on doing stuff. When I have some things to report on it, of course I'll report on it. It just occurred to me that it was probably worth talking a little bit about the things that didn't work and I wanted to try this anyway because of the lens work that we've been doing. But there you go, a 3D printed lens. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to like and subscribe.